Float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Welcome to the video about Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Welcome to Frank Bruno Law. I am Frank Bruno. Today is Celebrity Estate Spotlight. Celebrity Saturday was tough because this video doesn't always play on Saturdays. I started with Celebrity Friday, but I needed more time to research uh, to get it done. So Celebrity Saturday and the alliteration seemed to be good. However, when I post this on a Saturday, um, and I do this through uh, Facebook, it doesn't always get to my other social media until uh, a day or so later. So from now on, it's Celebrity Estate Spotlight. I'm gonna still film it on Saturdays, um, except for this week, it's being filmed on Sunday. <laughs> Today's about Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time, right? Owner of GOAT LLC, right? Little acronym there for uh, Mr. Ali. He had an estate valued at about $80 million. He also had uh, three marriages, he was married to his uh, third wife, Lonnie. Committed relationship for a long time. She took care of him uh, while he uh, suffered from Parkinson's disease, disease. And Mr. Ali had nine children from several different wives, uh, some adopted, some premarital, some postmarital. The siblings don't really get along. They're begrudgingly getting along for purposes of the estate. Um, now the interesting thing about uh, what Muhammad Ali did was his imaging and licensing was uh, taken care of through his corporation, GOAT LLC. And during his lifetime, he sold 80% of the company I think for about 50 million. So uh, there's the 20%, there's the actual uh, dollar amount, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, real estate holdings. Uh, he has that, that's what's worth about 80 million. And then he's 20% of the company. And many celebrities, uh, and Muhammad Ali would, would fit in this category. Uh, so Muhammad Ali earned quite a lot of money but he continued to earn money in retirement through endorsement deals. Some uh, professional athletes don't continue to earn money uh, you know, at the same rate as when they were uh, uh, active in their athletic career. Well, his image, uh, it's such an iconic image. He is such a, uh, uh, a, a sports figure that transcended uh, sports and uh, politics and uh, he was a cultural phenomenon that his image and likeness will be quite valuable. So uh, there was both a will and a trust. And basically, uh, to the extent I could tell uh, from the research, his wife got uh, 12 million, and then the remaining children split about six million each. Uh, not split, they were given six million each. Um, that sort of kept them uh, uh, not squabbling. So the, uh, the takeaway here um, is that he detailed uh, in something that was called a book. And when I, when I read the, uh, the materials about uh, Muhammad Ali, he had written a book, and they put book in quotes uh, as very specific uh, details about uh, his funeral and arrangements and pallbearers and... Uh, Actually, it was a little bit of a sore spot. His pallbearers were uh, Will Smith, uh, Lennox Lewis, and Mike Tyson, and the children were a little bit upset. Uh, but that was uh, in the book. Blended family, children from uh, multiple relationships, some adopted, all were planned for. Um, that's the takeaway. If you'd like to speak to me about your estate plan, please uh, send me an email, frank at frankbrunolaw. Thank you.